Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the sonnets and today we have sonnet 124 which says, If my dear love were but the child of state, it might for fortune's bastard be unfathered as subject to time's love or to time's hate, weeds among weeds or flowers with flowers gathered. No, it was builded far from accident. It suffers not in smiling pomp, nor falls under the blow of thralled discontent, where to the inviting time our fashion calls. It fears not policy, that heretic which works on leases of short-numbered hours, but all alone stands hugely politic, that it nor grows with heat, nor drowns with showers. To this I witness, call the fools of time, which die for goodness, who have lived for crime. So this one feels a little bit like a, a standalone. We've, we've been doing some sort of apology stuff, but this one, he's talking about my dear love. And I, I saw a few various analyses. Some say that this is still kind of speaking to her about the fair youth, and others say that it's just sort of love in general, the fact that he can love, that he feels love. And, and I tend to feel that it's more along those second lines where he's saying, you know, if... If my, if my ability to love, if my feelings for whoever a person happens to be, but if, if my feelings were an orphan, then they would be subject to all of this other stuff that everybody else has to deal with. It would be the same as every other flower, the same as every other weed, and, they, and my feelings would be at the whim of time, you know, ebbing and flowing as time goes along. But then he says, that's, that's not the case. My love is intentional. So it avoids the pitfalls of fads, things falling out of fashion, of, of, you know, being blown up too much or being, or being, um, dismissed too much. She's like, no, it, it, avoids all of those things and it's it's somewhat of a heretic in that it doesn't obey times every command you know my love stays constant the fact that i do love stays constant it doesn't swell at one point and drown at another point so he's he's separating himself his ability to love or if you want to look at it, his relationship with the fair youth, he's separating that from everybody else's love and or relationships saying, you know, this is what I have and this is going to stand the test of time. Whereas all of these other people seeking all of these good things are, you know, these, these might be their undoing, the good stuff that they do. So it's, this one feels less to me like it is to or about the fair youth. It's definitely about love and passion and relationships and and we see a lot of the similar themes with the ebb and flow of time and certain things staying consistent throughout as opposed to changing so so constantly the one constant being change but this one feels a little bit more to me like you know my ability to love is true and constant and and focused and that is what is going to last is is my ability to love my my feelings of love are going to stand the test of time so anyway that's how i feel about sonnet 124 and i will see you tomorrow for 125. Mwah.